Now, this is a different kind of drawing. It also came out of our school of self-improvement here at the studio. It is a blueprint of a piece of equipment designed to make cartoons more realistic and enjoyable. This is the plan for a super cartoon camera. We call it the multiplane camera. It was intended for use in our feature length cartoon. You see, we decided for features, the camera needed improvement too. Actually, the pre-feature cartoon camera was fairly simple in construction and operation, and generally very satisfactory. The problem was how to take a painting and make it behave like a real piece of scenery under the camera. The trouble was we were photographing a flat two-dimensional background. So we set about making plans and blueprints for a new cartoon camera that would overcome this. The different elements in the scene were separated according to their varying distances from the viewer. This put the moon on a plane farthest away from the camera. With our original picture broken down in this manner, it is possible to control the relative speed with which each individual part of it moves to or away from the camera. But the moon remains absolutely still, and so it will always remain the same, neither growing nor shrinking in size. Since this new camera used many planes, we called it the multiplane camera. And here now is our same moonlight scene, the way the multiplane camera sees it. As you can see, we finally got the moon to keep its proper distance. 